What is up guys, David here from Overland Nomad and on today's episode, I'm gonna be reviewing this Iceco VL75 Pro D cooler, fridge, not cooler. Is this worth a thousand dollars? Stay tuned. All right, back in the day, we didn't have these 12 volt fridges in our trucks we had just a regular cooler and we throw ice but some of the cons when it comes to having a regular cooler like this like this yeti is the fact that you have to put ice right you have to put ice in it and then it melts you have to buy more ice and sometimes like in my case like in when i went to big bend uh, recently i threw some sandwiches in there and the ice melted and the water got in the sandwiches it ruined all my sandwiches but anyways this is the old stuff and now so out with the old and in with the new now we have these 12 volt fridges that you could buy they're all very pricey there's some cheap ones and then there's some fancy ones like this ice co which costs 999 dollars um like i said there's big price differences this is a monstrosity i mean you can see this is my uh newly acquired tundra here and this tundra is pretty big this ice co is huge uh i'll give you the dimensions a little bit um, but this Iceco is a 75 quart dual zone. You got freezer and fridge. And uh, I'm gonna be going over this. Let's go and do an overview on this fridge. Like I said, this is an Iceco, the brand Iceco over there, VL75 Pro D, uh, 75 quart dual zone fridge, meaning that one side could be a fridge, one side could be a freezer. Both sides could be fridges, both sides could be freezers right now have this freezer and now we have a fridge over here um i've already used this once on one trip which is a footage you're seeing i took it camping i took it in my red pickup that's over there and it was fantastic i was powering it off let me show you guys this ecoflow battery pack uh that i have right here this thing i also did a review on it can you see me oh yeah i did a review on this one so check that out this battery pack pretty much power this thing for a, a good while because that thing I plug it into my vehicle so it's charging up the battery and anyways go watch that video there's more on that what makes this a really what what Iceco kind of advertises on their fridges including this one is that it has a C-Cop C-Cope I don't know how to pronounce compressor that you they used to be called Dan Foss uh, compressors those are like top of line uh, compressors and supposedly I'm not a compressor expert here but if you research those are very good reliable compressors so this uh, fridge has that compressor meaning it has a five-year warranty on the compressor alone and a one-year warranty on all the other components uh, on the fridge okay let's talk about the exterior on this fridge you can tell it's really really tough it's all plastic but it's super durable I threw it in the back of my truck and I went driving on the beach uh, and it got thrown around a lot and as you can tell that I got some marks here and there <laughs> it's red paint you can see from the bed uh, I got sand on it still actually uh so this thing's been used pretty well uh, exterior is really good it comes uh iceco will send you like extra little protectant little corner things here we'll send you some extra ones in case you really wear these out but the plastic's really well uh, well done actually i went to rei not so long ago and they had a fridge there on display that they sell that i'm not going to name it uh it starts with a d and they had one there and i never actually Mess with, one, mess with one before and the feel of it was really i mean cheap compared to the ice coat and those are really my my opinion on that that one was really nice and all but it just didn't feel as good and rugged as this one this one's really tough uh it's really nice another feature on the exterior is the fact that you have these doors that open like this but they also open like this you can just take it apart it's really really versatile that really helps it you know if you have it in the trunk or something something's in the way you can just remove the lid off it's pretty nice i like that and they both do that they both have uh on each side uh, which is really nice this thing like i said it's a really big fridge it weighs 67 pounds that's what they advertise it as six seven pounds i pick it up and uh it's yeah it's it's a heavy heavy uh cooler it has some really sturdy handles on here. This is actually like metal. This is plastic, uh, but they're 
seems to be really, really sturdy. Uh, this is where I have the scuff marks from the truck where it hit. Uh, we see how, how durable these are. I mean, it's plastic, it's not metal. It would be nice if they were, you know, made out of metal completely. But uh, I mean, the hardware in here is metal, that I can tell you. And what's really cool about this uh, fridge is that I'm gonna go over the display and the ports in a bit. Um, the DC port to plug it in is on each each end of the fridge, which is really nice, which I didn't know about that when I went on my camping trip. I, if I would've known that, that would've helped out a lot because I had the cord running from the front all the way to the back. But I forgot there's a there's another DC port on the other side. Like right now it's plugged in on the other side where the battery's at. That's really helpful. Let's do a sound test so you guys can hear how the compressor sounds, even though it's, let me see if it's running. 40 uh, watts, that's what the battery's saying. So let's see how the compressor sounds. Let's do a dimensions here, let's check out. Got about 17 and a half of height, 18 inches wide, and about 34 and a half. So this fridge is pretty big, but you get a lot of storage out of this. And I'm gonna be reviewing two other fridges that I've gotten. One's a really small one and another one's slightly bigger than this one. The Iceco has two different, uh, it shows you two different temperatures on the left zone and the right zone. Right now we're at 36 degrees and the other side at the freezer side is 11 degrees. We have a battery monitor. Wow, my voice just cracked. We, we have a battery monitor over here where you could set it up to high, medium, and low. This is kind of to protect if you're plugging this in directly to your car battery, your starter battery. So let's say that you know you're pulling, you start, you haven't turned on your car in a while, and it's just pulling power out of that battery. The battery's gonna, you know, get drained out. So once it, this picks up a low uh, battery reading from the car, it will just shut off. Uh, so then we have eco and max settings. I haven't really used them yet. Again, I don't worry about that too much because I'm plugged into the to my uh, my uh, eco flow battery, so I don't worry about it too much. So yeah, here you can set the temperature. Put it at seven, it's at 11 right now. I guess it was set to seven degrees. Right now it's set to 34, it's at 36 degrees. And let's talk about these uh, these ports that we have here. I'm sorry if it's all full of sand, I actually tested it out. Uh, we have a DC plug right here, DC port. And then we have your AC port right here. And what's cool, you can never have enough of these is a USB, uh, USB, man, come on, USB ports right here which you can never have enough of you need to charge up something while you're camping so like i said i usually have this plugged into my ecoflow river pro which i've reviewed you can check that video out uh but i want to show you guys the display here that it's showing it's going about 40 45 watts that it's showing here of draw coming out of my battery um obviously this isn't it doesn't mean that's going to be doing that the whole time uh, it's just when the compressor kicks in and once it keeps that, uh, the temperature, then it just stops. It's not drawing anything out of it. It's only when the compressor's kicking out. Obviously, this kind of thing all relies on the outside temperature of this. Uh, Iceco does send, sell this thermal kind of cover for it, so it can keep, it's better at keeping its uh, temperature. Obviously, right now, it's humid. It's about 80-some degrees out here, so it's going to have a hard time keeping up when it's hot. Um, but that's just showing you how much draw it's taking out right now. Obviously, if this thing is completely off for days and, in, and you turn it, you turn it on, plug it into this, the draw is going to take is a lot because it's, you know, trying to cool off and get to that temperature is going to take up a lot. This thing's pretty much already set to that temperature. It's already reached it. So it's not going to draw too much. Uh, but right now the top I saw right now was 48, uh, watts that that just came up all right so i'm gonna put this on the ground so i can show you guys how heavy it is it's not too bad uh, if you're a small person then good luck this is gonna be a little heavy but uh, not too bad all right guys so let's go ahead and check out the inside i already talked about these doors uh they're really nice uh this is the freezer you can see how cold it is in here um 
What's really nice about this, like I said, you can do this little number. Same with this one. You can take them out, which is a really nice feature. Really sturdy. Uh, one, one thing that is really cool is that it has these really nice LED lighting on both uh, sides. It only has one here and one here, not on, you know, both walls. So once inside the ice coat, you get these cool baskets that can go inside. And it also has these drain holes, which are actually pretty cool. Uh, if you need to drain something, there you go. So as you can tell, this is, uh, you get a lot of room in here. This is a bigger uh, side of the fridge. Uh, as you can tell, put up this water bottle. You could stack up another bottle here and you still got room. Pretty nice. Now let's do a test on the freezer end, which, I mean, it could be also a fridge. Uh, let's see how this water fits perfectly, just fits perfectly in there. This little four pack here, perfect in there. This water, perfect in there. Just a little tight, a little snug. Got your eggs, and you still got some room here on the sides. So this thing is really spacious. I mean, a lot of room. Uh, and I'm sorry it's a little dirty here, but it's, it just got used. So I need to clean it up. But uh, it's a really, really uh, nice fridge. A lot of room. It's a little, I mean, if you're, a, if you're like a one person, it's a little overkill in my opinion. But uh, if you got a family like I do, this is a perfect size. And look at that. Iceco even puts like a little, a little information here some uh, information over here not bad so like i said um i took this uh off-roading at the beach and uh it performed really well it was thrown around in the back of the bed it wasn't actually strapped to anything it was just there and did really well and actually my friend victor uh took it to forgot the name of the place i'm gonna put it right here he took it in his land rover he went off-roading in this thing with this thing so here's the footage that he shot for me. What's up guys, it's Victor Vela with the Three Point Slow Gang. We're out at SCAR this weekend, wheeling the Land Rover, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to a company called Iceco that sent us a refrigerator. Um, it's a dual zone system. You have the freezer on the right, you have the fridge on the left. The cool thing about it, it opens up both ways, or they both basically come up. Um, <clears throat> It's a great cooler. It plugs into your existing 12 volt cigarette lighter. And if you actually look over here on the side, you can adjust the temperature for the left and for the right. It even comes with a battery monitor. That's basically, if you're gonna be connecting it to your vehicle's you know, car battery, like I am, it basically, as soon as the cooler notices that it drops below a certain voltage, it'll shut off. Um, We've been wheeling with it for about three days now. We've had no issues with it. Um, in the mornings, I'll crank up the truck and it'll start right up with no issue. Um, it's a great unit. Absolutely love it. Go ahead and check them out. We're gonna post a link on this, uh, on this video. So Victor had a good time uh, actually using it. Um, he had no complaints. Uh, I had no complaints at the beach. I didn't have any performance issues with this. Uh, this thing came in great. All right, so to conclude this video, I know it's super sunny uh, and it's so humid out here. Anyways, to conclude this video, is this thing worth $999? Well, it's kind of up to you. Um, when it comes to buying something like this, this is for camping uh, purposes, this would be more of a luxury, okay? I've already used this a few times. I used another cooler a few times and I'm not going back to the Yeti. If you can afford this, by all means, this will take you to the next level when it comes to camping. Uh, this right here is a luxury. It's nice. It's nice to just be camping. Just open and get your stuff like that. No worry about ice. You get all this room. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's a luxury item. So is it worth $999 uh, when it comes to the coolers that I've seen out there? Like I said, there's another one. The, the one I saw at REI, that one was like $1,200 and some dollars. So I think when it comes to coolers, I think this is a good price for it. It has a really good compressor with a good warranty. Everything, everything here seems top notch. Is it worth a thousand dollars? 
yeah, I guess it's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for me. I'm sure it's a lot of money for you. Uh, but you just saw the review on it. I guess you'd be the judge on that. Leave a comment down below. So anyways, guys, that's the review on this Iceco VL75 Pro D dual zone fridge. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Subscribe for more videos. I'm, I'm gonna be doing more review videos. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, I have two other fridges I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. One that's cheap and one that's uh, kind of like this one, but a little different. It's actually kind of cool. So I'll be reviewing that and that's it guys. We'll see you on the next one.